Let's make an image to image creation in Leonardo AI. We're gonna make an image of the Mandalorian, as if he was infected by venom from Spider-Man. Let's dive into Leonardo AI. It's free with 150 token use per day. I have another video here if you want to view the full tutorial, but let's work on image to image. On the home screen go to the image generation tool, and on the left side of the panel, we can see image to image, and image to prompt. Think about image to image, as the outcome being more in favor of the image you injected more than your prompt, but opposite for image to prompt. Image to prompt is more in favor of your prompt, than your imported image. Now let's start with image to image. First we'll upload a picture of Venom, that we would like the AI to work with. The image to image will result in a very similar color scheme, character stance and background. My prompt characterized, that I wanted it to have Venom infect the Mandalorian, and to show classic features of both characters, with a HD realism, and here's what I got. Not terrible, but we can do better. Okay, I don't know what in the hell that was, but let's keep working. I'm going through a couple different prompt wording and styles, but I come up on this one. We can work with this one in the canvas editor. Let's give it an upscale and head over to the canvas editor. I want him to have the classic Mandalorian T-shaped visor on his helmet, and we can do that with a masking tool. You can go to your image and press editing canvas to make it easier. Now we'll select the masking tool, so we can draw the area that needs editing and make sure that you place the square around the area that you want it to pull inspiration from. Now direct the prompt as to what you want it to do. I put mask cut out like the Mandalorian helmet and you'll get four different choices. This one is perfect. Now we'll use the masking tool to shape the top white parts into the classic Venom eyes. We'll get rid of the lower eye whites by prompting the boss to match the dark part of the helmet. Don't forget that you can use the guidance scale to either follow your prompts more specifically but turning it up or turning it down to let the bot use its creativity to assist you. 7 is the usual sweet spot. You may find with editing, you don't always get your desired outcome right away. But that's okay because you can make small changes and keep trying until you achieve your desired outcome. Remember that you can change the guidance scale up or down and even go in and edit your prompt, add in more specific detail or take out a needed details. You can also add a negative prompt here as well. Here's what I came up with not bad. The hands would need some work, but we'll get into hands in another video. We just worked with image to image, now let's try prompt to image. Now you'll be able to see the difference in image to prompt, where it uses your prompt as more of a guide. We'll upload our same picture and leave the prompt, how it was before and here are our results. Instead of having the whole character and his stance, it's taken a different approach and used some of my prompts much stronger than in the image to image version. We also have the contrast button that we can toggle on and off to show you different variations of outcomes. These might work well for your image and a future project but we'll leave contrast on. You can see that it went a more creative route with its generation. Also remember you always have your guidance scale to move up and down to change the weight that the bot gives your prompts versus its creative generations. I hope this helped you understand how image to image works. If you have any tips or tricks, let us know in the comments below. If you found this helpful, consider liking the video. Also, I have a mobile app for iOS and Android that allows you to connect your bank account to your credit card and automatically pay credit card charges as you make them so you can gain the cash rewards and you don't keep the debt. This allows you to use your credit card like a debit card so you're not racking up debt and on top of that paying interest on that debt every month. It will be available in April or May but we will have an announcement for the launch on our social media Instagram, TikTok and of course here on YouTube so subscribe to our channel to be notified for the launch of our app. Thank you and see you in the next video.